Sitzker Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagly, and I'm once again playing another random one shot from over here on lagged.com. This is a game called Halloween Idle World, and it's another idle game where you get to do a little bit of clicking, but mainly just watch your resources grow very quickly so that you can unlock more and more units. So let's go ahead and start this very haunted looking game. It looks like we're going to be building up like a big haunted mansion or castle or something like that, but... Hopefully it's going to be fun and as cool as the last one that I did. Tap on the haunted house to generate skulls. Okay, so our currency is golden skulls from the looks of it. And we got that ba-boom, ba-boom. Oh, and this one is more like a heartbeat. So you just click upgrade to earn more. And click that. Buy land to up, uh, unlock more upgrades. Yes, we can absolutely do that. So we're going to just upgrade the amount each click costs. Or not costs, but generates real quick here a few times to just get our earnings up and then eventually we're gonna hopefully be able to allow this part of it to stop as uh different types of units uh generate the income for us buy pumpkins for skulls and creatures okay so we need pumpkins so 50 skulls will get us some pumpkins which should allow us to yep generate more and more skulls automatically and then if we click in tandem with that, then we should be able to get even more faster and also get to a point where we can uh, unlock more units as well. And look at this little pumpkin patch growing here. I love that. That's actually really cool. I like that a lot. Okay, so we're going to put a little bit more under the click in. So just we get closer and closer to maxing out our skulls. Oh my god, they're stacking up. It's a little pumpkin patch. I love that. Or I guess they're jack-o'-lantern patches, but still. All right, and if we just sit back for a second, you see how fast that goes up. It is going up really, really quickly, but it's not going up quickly enough to, like, completely justify stopping clicking. So we might as well put a little bit more money into our clicking as well as we go up here in amount. We are getting more and more jack-o'-lanterns. We need 200 jack-o'-lanterns and 500 skulls to unlock the next unit. So, there we go. We can get seven skulls. Look at them flying out of the haunted castle door like ghosts <laughs> going everywhere. Kind of creepy, honestly. But very appropriate for this month. Halloween season is upon us. And, oh my gosh, I thought we had run out of space for more jack-o'-lanterns, but apparently there was, like, a space for one more. And that's that. That's as many as we can put down, at least for now. I'm not sure if that's going to increase down the line, but... We're now generating pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns a little bit quicker here because of the number that we're putting into the pumpkin upgrade, which is great. So, like, if we sit back now, you'll see we're getting, like, a hundred skulls, like, once every, I'd say, like, probably, like, once every second here. And, oh my gosh, wait, we're going up, like, way faster. We're going up, like, way, way, way fast. Now, now we're getting, like, a ton. Oh my gosh. All right, so I think it's like about, is it getting faster or am I crazy? I might be crazy here. Let me just, all right. No, it's like every one second we're getting like more and more skulls. So that's good. It's probably because we are putting more and more into this, into the pumpkins. And I don't think, I think at this point it's almost pointless for us to click too much more. We're almost getting to the point where we, we don't have to click quite as much. Okay, cool. So. Oh, wait, now, yeah, look at how fast it's going now. Now we're getting, like, maybe, like, 300 every second or something like that. It's going up very, very quickly, which is awesome to see. And we have all this money now. So it is kind of, like, pointless now to click, more or less. Um, but we have enough to get what the next unit is, which looks like it's, like, maybe a tarantula. Oh, my God, it is a tarantula. I even made a sort of creepy, <laughs> creepy purring noise, kind of. All right, so we don't have enough pumpkins now to... Continue to raise the number of tarantulas quite yet, but if we keep putting them into this idle resource here, that's good. Uh, I guess we can do like a tiny bit more clicking here just to get more and more stuff. But the pumpkins are going up by themselves and they're going up fast. That's the coolest part about all this is they are going up very rapidly here. We're just going to keep putting more and more resources into that. And now, got them back into the tarantulas again going up so quick now i think we're getting like 400 or 500 a second now this is 
This is actually kind of crazy how much we're generating as far as money goes. Holy cow. And it just keeps getting faster and faster as we keep putting more into that resource. Again, kind of not any sort of reason for us to keep clicking here. I'm just doing it to do something <laughs> with my hand. Uh, but otherwise, we can just sit back. I guess I can just take my hands off the keyboard. And we can sit there and we can look at the units go up higher and higher. Get another tarantula. And we need 100,000 to unlock the next part of the castle. The next part of the grounds here. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just keep putting a little bit more into the pumpkin patch here. And then I'll probably just let it ride. Once it's once we're getting like over a thousand a second, I think that I'll just let it ride. And I will allow it to generate the hundred thousand that we need for the next part of the castle here. But in the meantime, it looks like we're at like one, two, three, like two and a half seconds we get a thousand, which is pretty good, but not quite good enough. So we could sit here and just wait. Or we can continue to make it faster and faster with more pumpkin patches. And while we do that, we can also, like, obviously build up our tarantula army. Make sure there, that there's a lot more of those guys ready to go. There's, like, a little tarantula family. There's, like, two little babies. The big one is, like, probably the mama. Oh, my gosh. Now we got, like, three little babies. Look at them. There's so many of them that we continue to add to the grounds here. It's not a castle that you really want to visit unless you're someone who's probably invited or someone who is already dead. Because we got ghosts, we got skulls, we got haunted jack-o'-lanterns, and we got gigantic tree-sized tarantulas, which would be kind of the thing that would freak me out the most if I were here. I'm not even afraid of spiders, it's just seeing one that's so big that it could probably, like, eat me whole. Not my favorite type of thing. So now, we're up to the point where it's going to cost 10,000 skulls to continue to unlock more and more of the pumpkins. But it is worth it to put into because um, it does make the income go up faster and faster. So now we are at a point where it's like a thousand every second, which is like really cool. And although I think it slowed down when I just bought those tarantulas or did it not? Maybe I'm just nuts. Um, but maybe it is based on the number of like maybe our income, the number of passive skulls that are coming in is based off the number of jack-o'-lanterns I have. Maybe that is what the unit of acceleration is in this game i i'm not quite sure maybe that's something you guys can figure out yourselves but that does seem to maybe be the case because yeah we just dropped down to less than 100 and it looks like it slowed down a little bit how fast we were generating skulls so maybe maybe we should just like not buy any more tarantulas especially since we've maxed out the size of the family there on the grounds and just again let this sort of ride out until we get to that hundred thousand because we are getting so close now 600 uh, 600 jack-o'-lanterns, 700 jack-o'-lanterns. It's now going up faster than 1,000 a second. So, again, maybe, yeah, maybe just the more jack-o'-lanterns we have, the faster the skulls accumulate. So there's a little tip there, a little strategy, if you are someone who wants to, yeah, get more units, but you want to, like, be able to expand your castle as much as uh, possible, as fast as possible, just keep putting them into the pumpkin patch. And then, as you see, we got... Several thousand a second now. Now, if I were to buy some tarantulas, does it slow it down? Uh, it does. I, do, I don't know if it does, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe my theory is wrong. Again, something for you guys to tinker around with and figure out yourselves. But in the meantime, we are definitely generating so many more skulls faster than we were before. And as a result, we are getting closer and closer to that 100k. I think at this point, since it's going to take 30,000 skulls to upgrade the pumpkin patch, I'm just going to let this ride so that it keeps generating more and more faster and faster. If my theory is correct about the number of pumpkins affecting the speed that we accumulate skulls at, it, we are getting a little bit faster. It looks like it's accelerating. Because it looks like we're now getting about 5,000 skulls a second, and we're about to hit that 100k mark. Which lets us, boom, open up a whole nother part of the castle. And what do we have over here? We have something that takes 1,000 or 5,000 skulls, 1,000 uh, jack-o'-lanterns, and four spiders to build. Who is this guy? Oh, he's even got jangly bones. He's a skeleton. All right, so we have a skeleton on the field now. And then if I go ahead and keep buying more stuff, if I keep using up all of... My pumpkins, 
Nope, it doesn't look like it's going that much slower. Maybe it is going a tiny bit slower, but obviously it's going to be pretty negligible based on just how much uh, you keep putting into your pumpkin patch. It's eventually going to cancel out the uh, slowdown in the rate. Like right now, like we're we just got like 10,000 more pumpkins in just a couple seconds. So it's really, it doesn't really matter that much. You just got to keep putting them into whatever units you feel is the right way to build up your castle. But it looks like we need four skeletons to get the next unit. So I'm not quite sure if we're going to get to that yet. Since we need 16 spiders to even entertain the idea of unlocking that. So that's going to be, it looks like maybe it's like a mummy or a zombie or a Frankenstein's monster or something like that. So lots of units for you to unlock. Obviously more parts of the castle as well. A hundred million would let you unlock the next part of the castle. So a game yet that you can sink a lot of time into and it's very fun. I like the Halloween aesthetic for the month of October and hopefully you guys also enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoyed watching me put a lot of skull resources into the grounds of this haunted spooky mansion if you did please 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 be sure to check out this game over here on lag.com and as always it was great seeing you Bye bye